Many people are bullish about cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, but cryptocurrency mining is highly energy intensive. The electricity that is expended in the process of mining Bitcoin has become a topic of heavy debate over the past few years. A University of Cambridge analysis estimated that Bitcoin mining consumes 121.36 terawatt hours a year. This is more than all of Argentina consumes. The reason is that the proof of work process puts miners in competition with each other. That mechanism is used by miners to confirm and record crypto transactions, providing a greater level of security. In this system, when someone mines cryptocurrency, they're actually running programs on their computer that are trying to crack the problem. The greater the power behind your computer, the greater chance you have of winning the right to update the blockchain and reap the rewards. In brief, the crypto ecosystem needs new, greener alternatives. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. In this video, we will investigate Chia Coin and its innovative proof of space and time consensus. Chia uses 0.16% of the annual energy consumption of Bitcoin and 0.36% of Ethereum. Chia is part of the Circular Drive initiative that reduces e-waste through the secure reuse of storage, promoting the second use of hard drives for Chia farming. Let's discover how they achieve being environmentally friendly. Inseat of the proof-of-work algorithm, Chia Coin offers a fundamentally different one for the operation of its system. Proof of space and time. In this case, the main resource for token mining is not the implementation of complex mathematical tasks, like proof-of-work. Chia requires empty hard drives to farm the cryptocurrency with minimal resources. Individual computer owners bet their storage space. Operators, called farmers. These farmers plot out about 100 GB of space in their hard drives. The Chia network will then store those plots with numbers. Plots means it's time to prepare your field for planting. The more land that is plotted, the more chances you will have at earning a Chia coin. For Chia farming, you need computing power and fast SSDs for the plotting phase, where you delete any files that are taking up space on your storage devices. With the unused space on your hard drive, once you plot a section with your disk, you move it onto your hard drive so that the plot can grow into block rewards. The more free space a Chia farmer has on their drive, the more tokens they can earn. When the blockchain broadcasts a challenge for the next block, farmers will earn a reward if they have a hash that is closest to the challenge in a plot. A farmer's probability of winning a block is the percentage of the total space that a farmer has compared to the entire network. The more plots, the higher the probability. Once you have multiple plots, you are ready to harvest them. This is where you compete for your block reward. For every 10 seconds, a plot is randomly chosen from all the available plots within the network. The owner of the chosen plot will receive a block for their reward. This novel consensus mechanism called proof of space and time. XCH is Chia Network's native token. Like Bitcoin, XCH block rewards will theoretically ensure the network's economic security by aligning the interest of Chia farmers with what is best for the protocol. XCH tokens are used for these payments as well as natively as transaction fees, in other word, gas. To sum up, the Chia token was created to solve the many problems associated with traditional cryptocurrency. Disk space by comparison will require drastically less electricity when generating proofs and therefore reduces Chia Network's energy footprint. Cryptocurrencies are also highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about Chia? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button.